Ah. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I didn't recognize you with that <laughs> mysterious <laughs> mask. This Hi. is Anna. <laughs> This is Lawrence, who was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in early 2011. Lawrence's first fetal stem cell therapy was later the same year, in 2011. And he has been receiving fetal stem cell therapy almost every year ever since. I first met Lawrence in 2015. We're on our way to see Dr. Tell. So then the only thing you're really taking that might affect the course of the disease would be rebif, which really does not affect the course of the disease. And that's pretty much true, yeah. Okay, let me see you stand up. Let's see how you do. And this is without a cane now. Yes. Let me see you walk, if you don't mind. I'll turn around. He walks fairly well without assistance, as you can see. Uh, bring your hands out. Go like this. I'll bring them together. Bring them together. Just, okay, to the horizontal. There's no tremor, which there was initially. How about your grasp? Squeeze. Good. Very good strength there. Very good. So as you can see, he's made pretty good progress, considering. How about the dizziness then? That was a big deal, the dizziness. I, I feel pretty sturdy these days. Okay. Uh, my observation is that if I didn't know what he had, I pri at this point, I might not know. I can't attribute the improvement to anything else that we're giving them. Ordinarily, in your experience, if you don't mind me asking, Go ahead. Um, considering how many years ago he's been diagnosed, 2011, like, what do you usually see? Some people will just go on down the trail and become worse and worse and worse and become better, which I have seen. And they'll fail every therapy. He's basically reached, I would say, a plateau and stabilized where he's no longer declining. I'm very impressed with what I'm looking at, I gotta tell you. And I've been at it 50 years almost, and that ought to take some. And he's been my patient for about 30. So what do we say about all this? I don't know, except to say that there's something that works here. I don't think it's anything we're giving him, I really don't. Thank goodness we don't have to do a lot. He doesn't use canes anymore. I mean, I'm pleased. <laughs> what else can I tell you? No, that's all I wanted to hear is just you be honest. And tell no, me, I yeah. tell you the truth. I thought it was crap. I tell you that too. I'm the first one. Ask him. I see a lot of stuff that's bogus. I was not, in the beginning, enthusiastic about all this. I said, well, if you got the money to waste, go ahead. But then again, you're talking about a disease you can't cure, so with what we have, so why not? I mean, it isn't like it's real. I've never seen anything quite like this, I gotta be honest. If I had the best, I, I would never think anything like this would work. But it did. And I'm, you know, proof of the pudding. I haven't seen anybody get this well. Anything else? That's it. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah, I don't want to, yeah. Now, you'd think I was a salesman for the thing. But, <laughs> but you know what? Salesman, no salesman. I'm glad to see him better. Whatever it takes. I'm really happy about it. I mean, <laughs> as his doctor. But he was unsteady. My God, yes. And you wouldn't let him walk without assistance. So look where we are today. I got married in January to, to my fabulous Anna. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, when I first got diagnosed, like when it finally came down from an MS doctor, he looked at me and said, look, he goes, I got bad news. You have progressive, primary progressive MS, and it's just going to get worse. When you hear that, it's like getting hit in the face with a sledgehammer. I kind of shut off and shut down. I, I didn't know how to be around people. I actually gave my girlfriend a way out. I said, look, I don't know how bad this is going to get. We were only like less than a year into our relationship. I said, I don't want to drag you into this misery because it's going to get dark. And at times it did get dark. I mean, did I ever think about killing myself? Absolutely. Um, it never really got better until I, I went to M-Cell and 
you know, after the first day of treatment, I can't say I wasn't skeptical because I was, even though I knew the science was there, I was like, you know, I know it doesn't work for everybody in, in varying degrees. But, you know, after the first day and I could bend my leg and I wasn't exhausted anymore and I could pick up a pen and sign the room service check. And when I got back to the States, um, the biggest thing was, is like, I could drive my car with one foot. Whereas I was driving with two feet, one gas, one brake, because my reaction time wasn't all that great. So these are just, I mean, I know it sounds like they're just little things, but when you can't do them, I got back and I was able to paint and hold a paintbrush. I was able to pick up a guitar and just play simple bar chords, which I hadn't been able to do in a really long time. I wasn't able to finger pick because my right hand didn't work, so. I couldn't do that before. I, you know, I don't have any of the, the tingling, the cold hands, the cold feet. Overall, I'm, I, I look at it as I'm 85% better and I'm not in a wheelchair and my progression has stopped. I haven't gotten any worse. I've only gotten better. My neurologist, um, who thought basically I'd be in a wheelchair by now, um, was amazed that I could walk on, the, on all his tests, which is on a level of one to five scale. I went from one and one and a half to three and a half, four, five on some of them. Scott was officially diagnosed with primary progressive multiple sclerosis in December of 2019. He received his first fetal stem cell therapy in May of 2021. This interview took place in December of 2021, eight months after his first therapy. Upstairs. Come on, old boy. You slow down, okay? It takes five minutes. <laughs> you know, I, I actually considered selling this house because I wanted to live on one floor. Especially when they told me I was going to be in a wheelchair. I just, I didn't know like how my life was going to change. In 2011, I had suffered four back-to-back -back heart attacks. I went to M cell and I came back six months. I had a follow up with my cardiologist and she looked at me and she said, well, other than the three stents you have in your heart, she's like, I don't see any damage. She goes, you know, it's, it's what was there is repaired itself. I, I, there was some ha kind of strange stuff in my blood work before I went to M cell, but last month I had a full blood work up. And he's like, everything is normalized. You, you're, you're right where you need to be for a 53-year-old man. You know, any damage that was there before you left has now corrected itself. My cholesterol dropped 32 points, which in less than six months, basically, which was another side effect of my stem cell treatment, which if that's the worst side effect, I'm okay with it. So... Would I do it again? Absolutely. This is Chad, who was diagnosed with an aggressive form of multiple sclerosis in November of 2018. Just three months after his diagnosis, Chad received his first fetal stem cell therapy. Chad then returned to Ukraine for his second therapy in May of 2021. I caught up with Chad that following December. So Chad's initial symptoms started in July and the, the symptoms progressed very quickly up to December where he wasn't able to walk down the stairs by himself or cut his own food. He was slurring his words. Um, and so we went to Ukraine in February and by the, the treatments are three days. And by the second day of the treatment, he was able to cut his own steak. He was able to, um, his arm had stopped shaking. He was ha not having the tremors anymore. After he got back, I think the biggest thing I noticed was his walking was so much better. He was getting to the point where he was having to use a cane, especially to walk down hills like outside or something like that. Um, and he didn't have to use a cane anymore. His speech cleared up a lot more yeah. and the fatigue was, he had a lot more energy. Um, and I fell a lot. I was falling um, probably at least bi-weekly and doing your At one point you had said you were falling daily. And yeah. But I've, uh, since the trip in May, I haven't fallen at all. Not one fall? Mm hmm That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, not one fall. But I've been getting better and better. I get stronger every day. I get more coordination every day. Hopefully uh, everything will come back. But if it just stays like That's it awesome. is, at least I can still work. I can still... 
be a father, I can still do everything I want to do. I mean, honestly, like the biggest thing for me was he can pick up, he can pick up his baby. Like that's huge. If he hadn't had the stem cell treatments, he wouldn't have any of that mobility in his arm. He might not even have the left side mobility and he's still able to be an active father and play with her and you know do, do yard work yeah do yard <laughs> work <laughs> and all of that fun stuff so that's i mean it's it means everything to us to have that option available to us you know we've seen it work for him twice and yeah. work very well and his neurologist didn't believe in the stem cell treatment at all he said that it's like throwing crap to the wall and seeing what sticks now since he's seen chad's progress he has become more interested in himself um, so it's definitely kind of opened his neurologist eyes to some new things, which is incredible. Sophia, Lawrence, and Chad first received fetal stem cell therapy within one year of their original diagnosis. And Scott received his first therapy within two years. Xavier and Bill received their first therapy within five years of their diagnosis. I noticed that people with degenerative diseases who received fetal stem cell therapy within this general time frame, those people generally had more dramatic positive results. Scientifically, the reason for this would be the regenerative nature of fetal stem cells, fighting against the degenerative nature of their disease. This year is 18 years since I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And I would suspect I have at minimum 20 years worth of damage, nerve damage, to the central nervous system and brain lesions from multiple sclerosis. And so the damage that I have, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it to overnight be improved. But I am seeing improvement and um, improvement in my balance, in my muscle spasticity, um, and that has translated to improvement with walking. I'm not where I want to be at this point. Um, I'm, you know, just trying to increase my endurance. My ability to walk unassisted in my own home is so much improved. My, I'm able to get up from the chair, from the bed much more easily. The first day home from M-Cell, I was able to walk into my kitchen, make a cup of coffee, carry my coffee to the patio without touching any walls um, or holding on to anyone without using a walker. Um, it's not a great distance, but that's a huge improvement for me. My ability to take a shower, to get dressed uh, without just overwhelming fatigue, debilitating me for the day is much improved. And I really am hopeful that I can go back to M-Cell. I already saw what MS can do unchecked. I don't want to live in a wheelchair. Sure. I don't want to live paralyzed. What else can you take from me? I'm going to gamble because... I want something better. If you or someone you know is living with multiple sclerosis and you are asking yourself why you may have never heard of this technology, part of the reason you may have never heard of it is because while M-Cell has been using fetal stem cell technology to treat multiple sclerosis since 1996, from 2008 to 2021, there has only been 211 treatments performed for 160 multiple sclerosis patients worldwide, with less than 20 of those patients being from the United States, which makes up for less than 0.002% of Americans living with multiple sclerosis having received fetal stem cell therapy. With over 77% of patients treated with fetal stem cells seeing no signs of disease progression for at least one year after therapy, based on MRI scans. In 2017, M-Cell's scientists published an extensive study on multiple sclerosis in the peer-reviewed Journal of Stem Cell Research and Therapy. If you wish to contact me and ask me any questions about this technology, since I have been following it for the last decade, feel free to email me at eric at ericmarola.com. To stay up to date on my progress researching this technology, subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow on Facebook, or sign up to my mailing list at ericmarola.com or stemcellsmovie.com. Also, don't miss the God Cells podcast series 
where I have candid conversations with people from all over the world who have received fetal stem cell therapy. All links are in the description below.